to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. Today we're tasting the Kilchoman Snake. It's 46% ABV, unchill filtered, uncolored, and costs around 50. And it was reduced in price of about 10 to 15 lately. So Snake moved from a special bottling from the Kilchoman distillery on the Isle of Isla to a, well, regularly available single malt from that distillery. And the name of the Snake comes from the Sinek Moor, uh, well, mouth of the small river north of the Kilchoman distillery. You're driving 50 minutes up to, up to there. And this whiskey separates from the others by having a distant amount of sherry cask matured whiskies in this mixture. This is a single malt, all cask, come from the Kilchoman distillery, but there are more sherry casks in the mixture. So this is not a finishing process, but a mixturing process between ex-bourbon cask and ex-sherry cask. And this one has a bigger amount of these Ex sherry casks in it, and have a look at this wonderful dark color, which is an uncolored whiskey here. So, this is definitely a, a decent amount of sherry cask whiskey in this. Um, there is the Machir Bay whiskey, and it's priced six, seven, eight uh, euros cheaper than this Snake and contains less sherry cask. Whiskies in that mixture, it's as well always available. Both carry no age statements, so they are quite young, which is not harmful for whiskies, uh, which a high amount of smokiness, high peatiness in it, because uh, a young whiskey, the intensity of a young whiskey harmonizes very well with the smokiness of a whiskey. Yeah, I like that bottle very much because it uh, has a bigger diameter at the bottom than on the top. So all those modern fancy bottles have a small stand and oops, you throw it over. So this one stands fast on the table or here on my cask. I like it very much. Kehoman is a quite a new distillery. It was founded in 2005. Uh, the last, no, the second to last uh, distillery opened on Isla. And it lies quite in the western part of Isla, where the winds and the storms from the Atlantic Ocean uh, well reach the distillery uh, unblocked from any uh, chain of mountains. Yeah, smogginess and a sherry tone. Yeah. This has an intense smokiness and not this bonfire smoke, but more a medicinal smoke. This is hefty. This is stinky. So this is one for the specialists. A lot of intensity. Takes quite a while and then orange peel arrives. Smokiness. The smokiness is sad to have 50 ppm. But in this case, I think the uh, Oloroso Sherry maturation gives a more different aroma, which, well, harmonize with the smoke, but doesn't let it to be overwhelming. Resins, peers, probably a little bit of heather. Yeah, cheers. Oily, juicy, friendly, and then it kicks in. A lot of mouth watering, citrus notes growing stronger, and the medicinal notes vanish to a more normal bonfire smoke. Little chocolate, little oakiness in the aftertaste, which speaks for 
quite a longer maturation than I thought this whiskey had a few years ago when I tasted the first snake. There, it was costs about 80 euros, dollars, pounds, and has a less Oloroso sherry cask content. They changed it and reduced the price. So this is a well a bargain for Nyla whiskey in a with a decent amount of sherry cask influence in it. Caramel cloves, yeah. Mm -hmm. And a little sweetness in the aftertaste. Mm -hmm. This is a intense Isla malt, but not harsh, not too edgy, balanced, in very intense but balanced. So I think this grew a lot better than the one before. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned.